So if you give them a bit of room on the grass, yeah, that, that's okay to stab them in the throat then, shoot them in the head? Yes. I can show you the footage if you want to see the gas chambers. Um, I'm kind of doubting all food certification at the moment. Would you agree? That if you eat animals cause their death and this violence towards them that you're an animal abusing hypocrite? Okay, you, you don't want to torture that prisoner, but he's going to suffer exactly the same whether you do or not. That's an insane argument. But Are you okay consent to being filmed? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. You're not going to like what I say. Okay. So have you read the sign? The sign? Yeah, the koala sign. Yeah, yeah. If is you... this, firstly, is this an interrogation or a debate? Um, do I get we... to ask you questions too? Oh, well, yeah, we can have a discussion where we can throw questions back and forth to each other. Can I ask you a few at the start then? Can I just let you know what my position is and then you can go from there? Don't eat meat. Yeah. Well, no, no, not just meat. <laughs> I use meat because it's a bit of a hook in. But um, I'm saying that if you are caring about the well being of the koalas, while you have five other species of animals on your plate, and eggs which come from exploited and killed hands, and dairy comes from cows which are murdered and exploited, <coughs> I'm saying that that makes you a moral hypocrite. Oh, a moral hypocrite. Okay. Yeah. Does it say moral? Okay. No, it doesn't say moral hypocrite, but I'm hoping people sit down and get me to clarify so we can discuss. Okay. But some people want to save the koalas for different reasons than moral reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And they're two different things. I mean, we, we want to save So koalas. what would those reasons be? Let's just... Well, we want to save koalas the species, not each individual animal. I get it. So yeah. you don't have to save each individual animal to save the species. Okay. So when I eat a chicken or something... I'm not wiping out all chickens. Yeah, we just if had you, this discussion. If yeah. you wipe out the whole species, then you've, you've taken out a, a part of the ecosystem. But if you take out one chicken, the ecosystem's probably fine. What about mass breeding billions of animals? What does that do to the ecosystem and the resources and the land? This is an environmental... Dis I'm not going to have an environmental... Environmental, dis yes. That's, that's yeah. a reason to... Well, that would be your, your, your argument pushed back. Wouldn't it? Because you're eating chicken and you're f supporting the farms that are displacing the ecosystem much more than koalas being removed. That's true. Yeah. So let's I just would certainly limit the amount of farmland that can be used for cows and animals. Oh, but huge, I think, huge amounts. I think the problem there is too many people on the planet. Well, too many people and a bad use of resources. Yeah. But if we, you know, stop feeding 70 billion land animals or the plant food, I'm sure we have room for population growth. 70 billion land animals, That's t they outnumber us ten by 10 times. Yeah, but I think 7 billion people on the planet is too many. I well, think 1 billion would be nice. And it's not just animal resources, it's, it's other resources too, like steel and gold and everything. We have to mine seven times as much as we would if we had 1 billion people on the planet. This is completely a resource and, arg and, and um, environmental argument. Yeah. Like, obviously there's 70 billion land animals that are eating all of our food and water. Okay, that's hard to avoid that mathematically. But from an ethical perspective, do you think a koala, in, 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 an individual koala matters more than an individual chicken or an individual cow? Because uh, using endangered species as an argument, you could use that in the human context of my, my race of uh, human beings, there's less of us. So we matter more, I matter more morally than you. you. There's plenty more of your race. Like that's not really an ethical argument. It's more about our own I uh, worry about their species surviving and a lot of it's not to do with the, the imbalance in the ecosystem it's more about oh I love, love koalas we don't want to see them leave but to that individual koala that individual chicken this is where, where I'm where I'm arguing from um, I don't, don't really have a position on moral I mean morals differ for each person of course and ethics is about minimizing overall harm um, which to an extent is as long as you preserve each species and give them a chance to continue that species, uh, I don't see any problem. So what about, so mass, you're, you're okay with mass breeding animals and then chucking them in a slaughterhouse and cutting their heads off as long as we preserve their species? No, it should be done as humanely as possible. Yeah. But How? not the way it's done now, with them thrown live into a wood chipper or whatever. Uh, you can oh, you mean like the, the egg industry, how they'd macerate male chicks? This is RSPCA approved, by the way. Massive well, of male chicks. Probably shouldn't be. I'm yeah. sure they could genetically modify them so only female chicks are born, for example. That's one thing. Yeah, that, 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 that is one thing. Egg but then they get, they, they get turned into egg-laying slaves and then get slaughtered, into, turned into chicken flesh, which is another thing as well. So I, I, do you think boycotting the industries that exploit animals and being a vegan is the most ethical thing to do in terms of animal rights? Probably. But... Seem unsure. Well, there's two downsides to that. One is that people want to eat meat. 
Of course, yeah. And you'd have to suppress that urge and piss off all those people. Yeah. Which would be hundreds I, of millions of people. I don't care about that. I don't care about pissing people off. I care about animals being literally enslaved and killed. Problem, though. Pissing people off is not the same as you know. There's a lot of pissed. Okay. There's a lot of pissed off people when slavery, human slavery, was abolished, and economic arguments and who's going to pick that's the a bit this. Because that's within the human species. But I'd say the the I'm trying to make an, a moral analogy where people were pissed off because something okay. su very unethical was stopped. No one cared. About there, well, there was a the war. Other, the other issue yeah. is that if you don't farm all these animals, they're not going to exist anyway. Yeah. They only exist because of us. Yeah. We've selectively bred so these. There's, there's, there's no possible future for these hundreds of millions of cows and stuff living happily in the forest. They're no. either going to live and be eaten or not live. They're going to live to be enslaved and murdered or they're not going to live at all. And I mean, what would you rather? They're never going to have, have a happy life. Well, it's yeah. like asking you, do you want to not be born? Would you rather not be born or be or live and yeah. be in, to in prison forever? Yeah. I would rather not be born into a, a farrowing shed where pigs are, you know, lying on their dead piglets and then they get put in a gas chamber and never be free. That would be horrible. I wouldn't want... There are some things worse than life. Being... Isn't life one of the most wonderful for you? But not being an animal, in, a, a farmed animal in Australia, it's horrible and you always go to a, a brutal death. I'm yet to see this ethical slaughterhouse footage. It's all disgusting. Well, the RSP, the, the um, PETA people don't film those ones. PETA have got nothing to do with me as an animal rights activist, but okay. we've got plenty of footage from Australia. Not everyone's connected to PETA. Um, and why don't the industry put out their own slaughterhouse footage? Why is it always us exposing them? I think there's a lot of pressure on individual farmers to make profits. Of course, it's smart money. Um, I was just reading about the milk industry in America. Um, they can virtually shut down, uh, or, or the chicken industry rather, they can okay. shut down individual farmers if they don't play ball. Oh so right. if the farmers complain or go public or do anything, yeah. they can um, affect the supply of chickens to that farm or the, the prices they pay okay. and the farmer goes out of business. Okay. So, so you agree that it is a business? This is just a business? Oh. Just another business? Yeah. But the business entails enslaving sentient beings and killing them. Do you agree with that? I'm not sure that chickens are sentient, but... Um, You're not sure that birds are sentient? No, I don't know. Uh, okay. okay, well, I can tell you that I mean, they are. There's some tests that you can do. Yeah, there's science to back bird sentience and intelligence now. There's plenty, and even fish sentience and fish intelligence now. There's You're not these people who think that all species are... Equal? Yeah, like well, ants and stuff like that. Well, I think there's definitely levels to... You know, like I don't think you're the same as a tadpole or something like that. But I would say, like, how do we justify killing a like a chicken? Because because we're not talking about giving them like you know the right to drive a car and these pro rights. We're just talking about fundamental rights to not be enslaved and killed. Don't don't they deserve that as well? Just those basic, real basic. I'm talking about not equal, but basic. Um. Do they have the right? I think rights are something that humans have uh, invented for ourselves to make our lives safer. I get it. I get it. We so if they can't to be stabbed or something in the street. Yeah. So if if they can't conceptualise their own rights, they don't deserve them. Well, they don't seem to bother with them in nature. Do you think a lion worries about the rights of a zebra when it's killing the zebra? Of course not. Lions don't have moral agency like you do. You know that's why you don't go around stabbing people and eating them like lions eat zebra. But we're talking about. Um, let's just say a marginal case human being who has uh, a mental, mental handicap. They can't conceptualise rights, but we still would give them to them, even if they can't conceptualise them, because they suffer, feel pain, and they're sentient. Right. Yeah. So I'd apply that same argument to the chicken, even though they're a different species. It's a bit of a problem, though, when we're applying our standards to animals. We haven't asked the animals whether they even care. Okay. And obviously they don't seem to, because they do. If you've seen if you've seen video of lions eating zebras while the zebra is still alive. That's, that's pretty disgusting. That's not humane at all. Of course not. It's horrible. But and I wouldn't do that. Nature. That happens in nature every day. Yeah, but you, that's an appeal to nature. It's a fa fallacious reasoning. There's horrible... Th rape happens in nature. Murder happens in nature. You can't use that reasoning for a civilised society. I think you can have two standards there. It's either wrong or it's not wrong. 
if yeah. the zebra feels the same pain whether a lion eats it or whether a human eats it, mm -hmm. you're saying one's okay, no, even though the, the, the experience of a zebra is completely the same. Okay. So I'm saying that lions can't be held morally culpable for their actions. They're in a survival situation. They cannot be reasoned with and they, they are doing what they have to do to survive. You're, you're a moral agent as a human being. You know right from wrong. We're enslaving and killing a chicken who was a sentient being and suffers when we don't have to, when we have alternatives. These are two different scenarios. Now, you obviously operate with... Uh, some form of morality, yeah. But oh, of course you do. We, we, we're human beings. You don't you go a lion kills you, a lion kills a zebra. Therefore, I can do what I want. It's the same. Nature's the same as here. Obviously, it's different. Okay, so you're not arguing for the for the rights of the zebra at this point, because the the zebra's experience is the same. I'm saying that that that, that the lion has justification and cannot conceptualize morality like you have no justification. So it's equally bad for the zebra, but it. It can't be helped. Well, I can I can reason with you, who is not in a survival situation, who can easily not choose the chicken to pay for to be killed. But I cannot reason with a lion, okay? And they're in a survival situation, situation, and they are. What are they going to do? But you have many choices to make. <coughs> hmm. I mean, I could say something that you would consider terrible, which is, I think that humans have more rights than sheep to live yeah so uh, that uh, therefore it's okay in some situations yeah. um, I would say that that's human supremacy to the point where that we're like you know maybe there's other animals that you would think don't deserve to be enslaved and killed like maybe a dog do you have a pet at home or dogs don't taste nice yeah but they might if I put some soy sauce on them but do you think taste should justify what we do to animals that's pretty much why we eat cows and chickens and not goats. Just taste. Yeah. So taste justifies no this one mass. Like goats. Yeah. So you think taste is the only reason hinging no, on what we do? Only reason. Don't put words in Okay. Mind. Well, well, what's the, well, what is the other reason then? I would say intelligence. I don't think less we intelligent. Be chimps or dolphins, for example. But I don't think sheep and chickens are very smart. If you've actually spent some time on farms. They are pretty smart, but they, let's just say they're not they as, they might not be as smart as you. They run these defences and can't get out. It's not. I've met, I've, met, I've met smart animals. I've also met very, very dumb human beings and I still would give them their rights. To me, it's a practical thing. It's what sort of life do we want to leave and what sort of uh, level of safety do, do we want? So we make laws, we make rules to preserve that way of life. <coughs> um, and we have to balance different desires and everything. Mm -hmm. um, um, we're not going to necessarily get a perfect world um, no. With, with no death and no suffering and everything. I understand that, of course. Um, and a lot of people want to eat meat. Uh, our species has eaten meat for hundreds of thousands of years. We wouldn't be the way we are if we hadn't. Um, we, we're omnivores, we have sharp teeth, we have a small appendix. We're, okay. not, we're not designed to eat pure plant. You're going on, on, into a biology now and tradition and history. We've also done horrible things to each other since the dawn of time. Right. And we, I, I contest that we're herbivores because we have no claws, we have no predatory instincts, we can't run fast, we sweat through our pores. We have molars the same as cows, we have flat blunt teeth, we've got two pathetic little canines that would get destroyed in any fight with a carnivore. I would contest that we're herbivores, we have very large intestinal tract, but let's just say you were right, we are omnivores. If we can live perfectly fine without exploiting and killing animals, I've been vegan for six years, there's plenty of health shit out there now about plant-based diets, I don't have to tell you that. Why are we still taking these animals, mass breeding them and slaughtering them when we can we eat? Yeah. Is that, yeah. It's an individual thing, isn't it? It's an individual thing to cause suffering and abuse to animals, but we can also make that individual choice not to. Um, well, like I said, each person has their own own view of morality, and each individual person has to decide for themselves how far they're willing to go. Um, I would say that that's inconsistent and hypocritical to to claim to care about one species or our own species and then deny the rights and give pain and suffering or slaughter. Once again, I read your sign as saying save the species, not the individual. Yeah. And I don't think it's got moral on there. No, yeah. So that's no, I left it open. Okay. I, 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 I think. Yeah. We save the species, we don't save the individual. Um, therefore, it's not hypocritical because they're different things. Yeah. So you've written the sign. So, well, the sign is a bit short and I couldn't get all of that in the sign. I'm hoping you sit down. But I clarified my position and you 
did agree with it. You yeah. changed it when I got down. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm not changing it. This is my position. I promise you. I, we, you can watch the other people before you, and I have the same position. Morally, you might be right. Yeah. But that's not the sign that I saw. So. Okay. Well, that's fine. But Disagree. would you ag understand. would you agree that when you pay for animal products, you abuse those animals via the supply and, the supply and demand chain, or? Yeah. Okay. So when I went vegan, I, I admitted to myself I was an animal abusing hypocrite and I needed to change. Would you agree that if you eat animals cause their death and this violence towards them that you're an animal abusing hypocrite? No. It's a different thing. I don't necessarily want to, want to save every individual koala. I just want to preserve the species. And we're not wiping out cows and chickens as a species. So that's not a hypocrite. I mean, from the moral position of the individual animals. Morally, if I want to support, if I want to protect one animal and I don't care about another care about animal, I suppose I have to find a way to distinguish between them. And I would say that intelligence is one reason. Um, so I wouldn't kill a chimp, but I would kill a fish, for example. Because they are lower in intelligence right. through your eyes, or had different, possessed different intelligence right. that you might not understand. I don't think a fish has super intelligence compared to a chimp, no. Well, there's a study that on, on, on cod, I think it was cod, or it might be, I can't remember the actual fish, a, a fish that people predominantly eat, and they beat the chimpanzees in this study. Two coloured plates, they had to learn to eat off one coloured plate, or one or the other coloured plate would be removed, and if they, if they chose a certain colour of the plate, both plates would stay. The fish bet the chimpanzees, and they also beat the uh, toddler of the scientist who'd done this study. I don't think that's general intelligence though. Certain species certainly need particular very uh, sharp skills yeah. to survive yeah. and they might excel in that one area but generally, um, no, even even chimps probably eat fish. I've seen chimps fishing uh, oh, yeah. with sticks for fish. Well, well yeah, but they, they obviously don't have the same moral compass as you. So they're not intelligent now? I thought they were conscious Well, I'm and saying we can't use intelligence as a justification to rob rights from people or but animals. I but I do, yeah. But not for marginal case humans who are less intelligent than we're gonna, pigs. We're always going to stick up for our species. Yeah, but that's a human supremacist attitude and contradicts morally. Because we're human. Yeah. I'm sure that lions would stick up for lions, which they do. Now, they eat their own cubs. Yeah, but they protect each other against you know, a tiger. So. They could do, but they also turn on each other and claw each other in the face and... So do humans. Exactly. But each species stands up for its own species. That's I just natural. So That's... I don't follow that narrative. I stand up for... Uh, That's why we do it. It's a practical thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I disagree. I think that we can stick up for other species as well. We don't have to have... But that. it's natural to stick up for your own species more. It might be natural, but doesn't mean it's the most moral thing to do. Doesn't mean we should subject. We might look after us. We don't have to attack other species, though, do we? I mean, if you're inventing ethics which contradict nature, I think you're going to have problems with that. No, not really. The nature we contradict what, nature all the time. The nature is what gave us, um, made us what we are. Yeah, but we contradict nature all the time. You contradict nature all the time. I contradict nature all the time. Sure. If we follow nature, we're killing each other. We're no, turning we into tri vicious yeah. tribes, people. No, that's actually n very natural. To murder each other? Yeah. But you don't agree with murder? No. So we can't follow nature to be ethical, that's what I'm saying. In certain ways, yeah. In the ways that matter, for sure. If they improve our lives. Well, maybe, but that's just following moral compass. We're looking at it, is it ethical, is it not? Then maybe we should follow that. We don't follow nature, because good and bad things both happen in nature. We can't use nature as an excuse to attack chickens and breed them and chop their head off. Okay, this was meant to be quick. I'm okay with killing chickens, but not chimps, because chimps are smarter than chickens. That's one of the main so reasons. that's your declaration? One of the main reasons, yes. Yeah. The other is practicality, because people just want to eat chickens. I'm talking principally, not practically. Not because people won't. I mean, in principle, I think stabbing a chicken in the throat is not much different to stabbing a koala in the throat, just they look different. Okay, I have one, more, one last question for you, okay? Okay. You said that ants don't matter. When did I say that? Or that, that some species don't matter? I didn't say that. Do you think ants should be protected? So fly spray should be illegal? I don't walk up to an ant nest and start jumping on it, if that's what you mean. If you've got flies in your kitchen, do you spray them? I personally don't. Um, but I see that protecting your children from, say, mosquitoes that have gingy, what's that, fever, I see that as justification. Um, if I walk around and accidentally step on an ant, I see that as an accident. Um, but if I was mass breeding ants in my little factory and selling their body parts to people and, you know, making a 
uh, exploitation business out of them, I'd see that as completely unethical and unjustified. So you don't draw the line anywhere. There's no species that doesn't have the right to live. In their own little way, of course not. But like, obviously, we can't live in a way that causes no harm. So why do we cause the maximum amount of suffering and death? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I don't cause any harm by existing. That's not what I'm uh, asking you to do either. I'm saying, why do we still enslave on top of that and kill on top of that when we don't need to? We could try to at least eliminate the exploitation and murder of animals as far as practically possible. Yes. Yeah. So choosing a vegan burger over a chicken burger is so easy. Like, why don't we do that? Well, I sometimes do. Yeah, but you sometimes don't as well. And when you don't, you're paying for that chicken to be stabbed in the throat and abusing that animal. Well, I would prefer if they were killed as humanely as possible. I don't believe humane murder exists. I think that that's completely f something that people tell themselves to make themselves feel comfortable. Like, you can't humanely rape, you can't humanely murder. Well, you've got euthanasia. That's pretty humane. Well, that's consenting. That's not murder. Hmm, I suppose. They're is suffering, you're doing what's in their best interest. Is it humane though? Yeah, yeah, it's more humane to take them out of their suffering than to keep them in their suffering if there's no way of helping them. And you have to, like if you had a, a family member, which I've had, that are very, very ill, you have to make that decision as a family. But that's different to just robbing you of your life because I want a burger. Hmm. I'd protect you if someone tried to do that to you, even if you weren't me mentally capable of understanding, because it's the right thing to do, not because they understand or they're not intelligent or whatever, it's because they feel pain and suffer and are sentient. I suppose so. I guess we're going to have to disagree then. I don't think certain species uh, individually have the right to... Live. To well, live. Not, not necessarily have the right to live, but it's not some sort of uh, huge ethical... Dilemma for you, because... Oh, or yeah. at least not a very big one. Because you're not the victim, so it's easy to say that from your perspective because you're just making the decisions that kill them. But right. from their perspective, I'm sure it is a big issue because they're suffering in a shed right now. Hmm. When you look at issues of injustice, you've got to look at it from the victim's perspective. You don't look at it from the slaver's point of view, from the woman beater's point of view. You look at it from the victim's point of view. All points of view. Well, you could, but more from the victim. <coughs> hmm. You don't pass laws because the abuser said, oh, like, you pass laws because of the abused. I suppose so. Yeah. But I still have a problem with your, you know, if, if you've got two dogs and one of them attacks and kills the other one, morally that's fine. But if I would try to stop them. 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 I would try to stop them if I could, okay, from fighting. Why? Because it's natural, isn't it? No, no, no. Well, you said you used the lion and the zebra argument where it's happening in this. But animals fight each other and kill each other, even not for food. They might, right? They might, but that. Or for mates or something. They might do that, but if I saw two dogs fighting here, we'd pour water on them and try to stop them. Okay, you used the zebra argument, and I said the lion doesn't have a choice. You do. Okay. But you just said the animals are conscious. They are conscious and sentient, yeah. And but not in this one way. They don't no, they have, are. They don't have a moral judgment. Oh, they cannot conceptualise um, morality because they're in a survival situation. They don't understand right from them. This is their food. Where there's no, where one doesn't need to eat the other. They just fight each other for mates or for territory. See, my job as an animal rights person isn't out there to go and control wild animals. My my job is to convince you, who is a moral agent, to stop abusing animals who can't. Yeah, like I can't stop lions. There is one view that if everyone was dead, there'd be no suffering. Some people actually advocate mass murder to, to end suffering. I don't believe that because there's also well-being that happens because of our existence too. So you have to outweigh, does the suffering outweigh the well-being? We can cause a lot of well-being and you can cause a lot of suffering or you can alleviate a lot of the suffering too. Do you realise that in the wild almost no animal dies nicely? They die of illness and, and pain hiding under a bush and no one can help them or they die being chased down and eaten by a pack of lions or they die drowning or they die falling. But not because you caused it. But not because you caused it. Because it's not a moral thing if I, if I fall off a cliff and I die suffering. But That's not your fault. This is the life of the animal anyway. Whether humans do it or whether nature does it, we it's do the same it thing. It doesn't matter. Like, there's suffering in humans, but if I cause that suffering, I'm a torturer. But the suffering is the same anyway. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's like, okay, you, you don't want to torture that prisoner but he's going to suffer exactly the same whether you do or not. That's an insane argument. But animals don't live nice lives. If I was going to suffer of cancer later on in life, and you go, well, you're going to suffer and die anyway, I might as well torture and kill you and eat your buddy. Like, it just doesn't follow. It's not an ethical thing to... to lo it's not an ethical, logical conclusion. Yeah, animals live short lives in, in, on a farm, but they end up the same way. 
a short life of suffering. Six weeks for chickens, they, they get raised in these barns, uh, sometimes die on top of each other, and then they get slaughtered in a, a slaughterhouse. Okay, really the last... You said the lion is in a survival situation. Yeah, and you're not, so you don't have a justification. Most animals spend their lives in, in the wild in survival situations. They're desperately looking for the next meal, or they're desperately trying to avoid being eaten, or starved, or killed in some way. That's their entire life. They never relax and play, very, very rarely. They don't have houses, they don't watch TV. What's your point? Their lives are miserable. How am I causing that? You're not, but their lives are miserable anyway. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. They have freedom. Most, most animals, by the way, are herb herbivorous. 75% of animals are herbivorous. So to use the, the carnivore as an argument for our actions is just insane. But, you know, I can't control the wild. But what we're doing but is... the experience we of the animal is the same. Not necessarily. No, they're not. Or whether someone else does. I, I contest that. A wild animal in the, in the forest in England, a deer, has a very different experience to an animal having being raped repeatedly, having their children taken off them, being milked in a milking machine, and then suffering in a slaughterhouse. But it lives in constant fear of being eaten or hit by a car or something. What would you rather, be enslaved, your death dictated by a murderer, or have a chance out there to live? And these animals are not wild animals. They're selectively bred to be exploited as slaves and killed for our, our food. Yeah. It's a very different scenario you're using. I don't know about that. There's not that. I guarantee you, there's not as, as much suffering in the wild as there is in animal agriculture, which is 70 billion. They, they outnumber us and the wild animals. 70 billion land animals suffering in, How in old these. Are chickens when they're killed for. 42 days. Do you think a chicken has. Uh, I mean, a 40 day, two day old human wouldn't have any self awareness. It chickens even do. not know what's happening. Uh, oh, chickens, chickens can now. chickens can recognise their no. I never said they didn't. You said they weren't sentient. I said they are. There's studies on these chickens. They can recognise their siblings upon hatching. They can recognise their siblings also upon hatching. Babies, babies can recognise their. No, they, they, uh, at six months old. Okay, so I just thought I'd clarify this because I got a little bit confused in this discussion. But baby chicks are able to recognise their siblings upon hatching. Baby chicks are also capable of re recognising a whole object even when it's partly hidden. Uh, this capacity was thought only humans possessed. Human babies can only begin to, to do this at four months of age, while chicks can do it when they're just two or three days old. Also, there's something called object permanence, where baby chicks are able to remember something that e exists even if they aren't able to see it. This is something that human infants are unable to do until they're five to eight months old. This is what I was referring to in this part of the discussion. Sorry, it wasn't clear. Uh, baby chicks do it way before uh, human babies do. But, using I intelligence have, again, I don't I, think intelligence... Uh, believing that chickens are more mentally advanced than humans. There's nature. I don't think they are. Uh, I don't think. Ch uh, well, they are at that stage. Okay. But but. Very convenient for your argument, don't they? It's not. There's, there's science to back this up. Anyone can look at uh, chickens' uh, sentient science and look at chicken intelligence science. But I wouldn't use intelligence as an argument anyway. It's invalid because there's less intelligence humans, and we wouldn't exploit and kill them. Intelligence is not an uh, justification. Exploit, we don't kill them, but we exploit them all the time. We don't enslave humans, it's illegal. No, but we exploit them in other ways. We well, that, that is very subjective. Things, we trick them into a home loan or we, well, we get them to do a certain job and take certain conditions. Okay, well that's different to me enslaving still, you and... No, but it's still exploitative. And yeah, we still well, do it. it's subjective whether or not that's exploitative. It could be considered exploitative, but when you enslave a human being, that's 100% slavery. And when we take these uh, rights off these animals and control their freedom of movement and put them in these sheds and rip the well, flesh off their bones. Shed. I'd put them in a field so they can live almost like nature. Literally impossible to have 70 billion land animals all grass feeding on fields. That's what I said, there's too many people in the world. No, it's our use of resources is incorrect. But if there were fewer people, you could do this. That's, uh, well there's not fewer people, so that's just an invalid uh, discussion. You can't just invalidate certain solutions. Because we have people, what what, what's your solution? Control the population down, crop the population down to a billion? We can't do that. Well, eventually it's going to have to. What we do is we stop mass breeding animals and feeding all our food and water to them. You just ignored a solution, though. I'm not for I'm not for cropping human population down. No, no but discouraging large families and stuff like that. So eventually the population. Well, well that is that is a, of course I don't breed myself. I don't have children myself. I think they're one of the worst things you can do and feed them animal products and torture animals and you know. Okay. But 70 billion land animals to feed us. What? So we let's just half the population to 3 billion, 30 billion land animals to, food, to feed us? Still ridiculous. Yeah, but it's not as bad. It's horrible. Like I said, you're not going to get a perfect solution, I think. I, I think we just respect their rights and all these other problems solve themselves.
stop mass breeding them, stop torturing them, stop murdering them, stop eating their body parts and choose plants. A very simple, practical thing to do. Very practical. I think that a lot of species would go extinct or would no. struggle. If no one was breeding chickens or cows, Ridiculous. Absolutely there not. would be small herds of cows in the world, like small herds of elephants in the world. Absolutely not. And they would struggle to survive. There were wild cows before we started to take them. And yeah, but we didn't have 7 billion people then. Then what we do, we, we, our population grew and we wanted to all eat meat and then we had to mass breed. And then we had this problem, we stopped mass breeding, stopped the animal holocaust and start eating plants. Are there many yaks in the world or goats? Not goats. Well, they're still wild cows, okay. Yeah, not very many of them. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're in proportion, maybe they're in proportion. But what we're doing disproportionately is breeding all of these unnatural animals and destroying the resources and creating this massive animal rights violation. Yeah, maybe it's ethical problem, ethically problematical, but um, I don't know. We can't excuse this, that's what I'm saying. We're trying to excuse this horrible thing that we do, and it's easy to brush it under the carpet. Well, like I told the girl, I was vegetarian for 10 years, and the only reason I started eating meat again, because <coughs> I got sick and I needed protein. Yeah, I would disagree with that too. I mean, you never need protein from animals. You always can get protein from plants. Well, I didn't want to eat eggs every meal, literally every meal. I don't agree with the egg industry because they slaughter those hens, they exploit those hens, and the dairy oh, industry do the same. So. That's what the hospital fed me, so... Yeah, well, obviously out of your control, but you're either an abusing animals or you're a vegan. You're exploit, you, you, you boycott these industries that exploit and kill them. There's no in-between here. Okay, well, you seem to have sort of... Every, every argument I put up, you dismiss and say, oh, that's special, that's different. Well, cropping the population down is not going to work, so I didn't dismiss them. It's just in, invalid in this context. We have to talk about right now. And then I say, well, animals eat animals, and you say, oh, that's different. Well, yeah, because you, can't, you don't use that as an excuse to go and breach human it's rights. It's a moral thing because it's cruel to the animal. Yeah, but I'm saying that, that you shouldn't act immorally because a lion does. It's ridiculous. You're following the actions of a lion. That's why it's invalid. I, I don't see any difference. In copying a lion right now? If a lion eats a zebra and you're fine with it, and a person eats a zebra and you're not fine with it, I don't see... I mean, to you, the, the difference is that a person can understand what they're doing and they're doesn't need culpable. to. But the effect on the zebra is the same, so you can't really... I can't, be po I can't police a lion. <coughs> I can police human beings. We, can, we police human beings. If you killed all the lions now and all the tigers... I don't mean, agree with that. That would mean that all the zebras in, in future would be safe. There'd be a disproportionate in the... I, I don't agree with us going out there and killing lions, all right? That's not, that's not the solution. But let me give you this. Let me give you this and show you how invalid this argument actually is, all right? Human beings killed their children. We put them in jail for murder. Lions eat their cubs all the time, okay? Now, why, if we were okay doing what a lion does, why can't we eat our own children, murder them? Because we don't want to live in a lion-like society. Well, there you go. Answered my question for me. Past rules. You actually made my point for me. We don't want to live in a lion-like society. So why go? Why, why choose one thing a lion does, which is eat a zebra, to justify what we do to animals? Why do we choose that? We don't copy everything else they do. But because we want to live in that society. We want to live in a civilized society where where harm. We eat meat. So we we pick no. and choose which laws we want. We pick and choose what actions we copy from a lion but we don't copy all the actions of a lion which is a non sequitur no, mean because we're not lions but we still get to choose no we don't says who you can't choose one thing a lion do does and go lion's behavior though absolutely you can why, why wouldn't you be able to do Because it's illogical you can pass any combination of laws you want i'm saying that no no well humans can do that but morally it's illogical it's hypocritical you can't choose one thing a lion does otherwise choose everything they do or nothing they do or don't use a lying as a, as a compass for our morality. We use our conscience and what's right. But that differs for each person. Well, then I'd say, does that person contradict their own morality? Do they contradict themselves when they say, <coughs> which is what this sign's trying to do? If I think eating animals is okay because they're less smart, then there's no contradiction. Well, I said, there's humans that aren't smart. You wouldn't use it as an excuse to deny them of their rights. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tastes very good. But that's, a, that's, not a, that's not a moral argument, that's a taste, a pleasure so argument. You're now telling me what morals I should have. Because, like, you don't use pleasure to justify anything else horrific, and taste is pleasure. Do you? 
It's not just ta it's not just taste. It's it's health and everything. You said you wouldn't eat a, a dumb human because they're not they don't taste good. But I'm saying you use you can't use intelligent here. You can't use intelligence here to justify something horrific well, to an it's animal. A combination of things, isn't it? <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. But we've, we're, we're, we're going through these things over and over again. But you, you can't... I, <laughs> Look, I sat down because you didn't have moral on the side. And um, we got into a moral discussion, didn't we? Yes, which I didn't expect because it was not on your sign. You should put it on your sign. Um, without moral there, I don't think it's hypocrisy because of what I explained. We're saving the species, not the individual. If you get into morals, then it's a bit more problematical. And I would agree with you. Um, it, it, it comes down to each individual person and uh, sort of a practical decision about where they draw the line between, you know, what actions they think are okay and what actions they think are not okay. Okay. Um, I agree with that. And you could say that's a contradiction because yeah. you would draw the line somewhere else. Um, I would say, why do we draw the line at some species our own and not these not these other animals that have what what matters in common what matters in common which is they they don't want to die well they we don't live in a society with dogs and cats we live in a society with people dogs and cats are sort of you know they could all disappear tomorrow and our lives would be much the same yeah, um, but we're not having friendships with dogs or relationships with dogs no, people are people are so they are but, but what I'm saying is what we have in common is we feel pain chicken feels pain they're sentient they exist consciously no, they are. The science is not on your side here. Okay. And you, you hurt a chicken, they don't want to be hurt. Okay, you slash their throat, they lose their sentience. It's the same reasons we don't do this to each other. That's what we have in common. Now, might not be as intelligent. I can, you know, definitely not uh, creating iPads or iPhones anytime soon. But I'm saying for those reasons alone, shouldn't that be the reason that we don't just stab them in the throat for a sandwich we can choose elsewhere? That comes down to each individual person. Yeah. Um... Yeah, some people care that they're abusing animals and others don't give a shit. But like, the, for those that do care, then it's up to them to go, well, if I, I don't want to be an animal abuser, I'm going to go be vegan. Look, animal abuse is obviously extremely important to you. It's almost on the yeah. level of human abuse, perhaps. Some humans, yeah. For some people, it's not. Some yeah. people have human abuse up here and animal abuse further down. It doesn't mean we should abuse animals. But that's their right to have that... To, to that's their conscience telling them that. But they're not pa they're not abusing humans. It's against the law. You can't do that. And it's legal to abuse animals. This is where I'm, what I'm saying. If, it, if you were being abused right now, I'd be speaking up for you on this table. But you're not. But that's each individual person gets to decide that. That's and why. Yeah. Just because they have a different value in animal life than you do, doesn't make them wrong and you right necessarily. It just makes them an animal abuser. Because yeah, but to them that's not such an important thing. Yeah, so they if that's what that's all I'm asking is that they admit that they're abusing animals through their lifestyle that they can easily change, and when they admit that that they're a hypocrite, they care for some animals, they don't care for this one, but they're picking and say, choosing. You care for the species, not the individual. That's a different thing. You do, you do. But when I now that's what your, your sign says. It's shorter. I could have put more stuff in there, you didn't but see each individual koala. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Which is a something that you grasp, but then we, we clarified that at the beginning, didn't we? But, so. okay, you need to change your sign. If you change your sign, then you're right. But if you don't change your sign, then <laughs> I'm right. Um, I'm not trying to be right or wrong here. I'm trying to lead you to the conclusion that you're abusing animals through your lifestyle and the best yes. thing to do is be vegan. Well, that's a judgment about how far I'm willing to go and how important it is in my life. Yeah. Whether you do or don't, but you admit it, it's animal abuse to not be vegan. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's all I'm trying to... Some people would go, no, it's not. But you're admitting that it is. I admitted that, and that's why I'm a vegan. And I would also draw the line above ants somewhere. I don't think it's wrong to kill an ant. Well, it depends in the context. Like I ants said, if I had an ant, an ant factory farm where I'm exploiting all these ants, I'd say that that's definitely wrong. No, I don't think ants are conscious. Their brains are like this. No. Maybe. Well, the science might not be on your side there. They would possess some level of sentience and consciousness. But, you know, we'd have to look up that ourselves, wouldn't we? They eat each other and... and but you're not, you're not, you're not, you're, you're killing chickens. You're killing cows. You're exploiting and killing pigs, okay? Yes. So let's talk about them and whether you step on an ant by accident or not, it's not really my concern. Okay. <coughs> yes, so. I'm okay with killing some animals. I think it should be done as humanely as possible. Um, I don't eat meat as much as I used to, and it does worry me. The dairy industry and the fur industry... Um, 
I mean, I, I wear leather shoes because they're the best shoes. I don't have a leather jacket. Um, so the amount of animals I kill in my life is, is quite small compared to some people, which is better. I mean, if you kill 10 animals a year and then you switch to killing five animals a year, that's better, right? Yeah, but I would never suggest that. Those, to those five animals, it's not the best. The best thing you can do is be vegan. And I would never give you a false message or tell you something that you wanted to hear and go, yeah, great, that's, you're reducing the exploitation and killing. Because I don't tell people to reduce the amount of times they beat their wife. We say stop. But with alcohol abuse or cigarettes, you might reduce it. But that's not a, a human rights violation or a justice it's issue. It's the same principle. But not really. So, um, do you think uh, an absolute message of don't eat animals ever is going to catch on, or is it just going to switch people off? If you said reduce, reduce meat a lot. We wouldn't do that with any other issue of injustice, so I wouldn't do it with animals. Animals are victims here. So but realistically, do you think it will... Well, the vegan movement's growing huge in the last four years. It's, it's everywhere now. So, it, yeah, it is catching on. And I don't want to give a false message. That's not, that's not going to do the animals the justice they deserve. Yeah. You might eat ten steaks a week, now you eat five. What's that done? Five. Five animals. What about if, you, if I say, look, you're an animal abuser unless you're vegan, this is why, and then you go vegan? You're going to reduce anyway, mate. No matter what, I, I might as well give you the right message. You're still going to reduce. Well, I do like meat and cheese and milk. If they had lab-grown meat, I'd eat that instead. Why don't you try the plant-based versions of Beyond Burgers and all that? Uh, okay, I will. Well, there's plant-based versions in the supermarket, you know, that you can eat as well. I mean, there's easy choices to make. All right, I'll try some plant-based meat-tasting things and see how they go. And then you go, wait, does just taste justify cruelty to animals? I don't know. It's not just taste, it's, it's the sort of lifestyle and that you want to lead. You can say, you know, you're polluting with your car, don't ever drive your car, don't take the bus, you're contributing to the bus pollution. Just walk everywhere or, or take your bike. But that's going to make your life different and you might not want to live like that. So you've got to draw a balance. Saying. I understand what you're saying, but like when we're talking about slavery and rights, you know, making your life different and a little bit more inconvenient when you're talking about slavery and rights is uh, not that big of a change compared to the, the victims involved. But again, like I said, it's slavery and rights of animals, which you might not value very much. You yeah. do. And that's but, a problem. But other people might not. Because white that's... people didn't used to value black people that they were enslaving too, and they used all these ridiculous justifications and horrible uh, reasons to exploit black people, which is wrong. And I'm saying that this same mentality, this supremacist attitude and mentality, you choose who lives and who dies and why, yeah. that's exactly what tears us apart and that's, what, that's what's creating this rift between you and your ethics. Well, I don't see the difference between people of different races because they're all human. Yeah, but some people did and it was that mentality. Well, stupid people. Yeah, because we're all sentient, we want but, to live in... Animals are different to humans. You can't, you can't ever say they're, they're but, equal. But, but what's... What we share in common is what I'm worried about. Sentience and feeling pain and wanting to live and desiring a life of freedom and not be subjugated and murdered. These things animals possess, it's very easy to test. I suppose in that case, it's better to be vegan, but uh, I don't know. I guess I can say I don't want to be completely vegan. Because only you're either anti-racist or you're a racist. You're either anti-animal abuse or you're vegan. There's it's no, no issue. but it's a justice issue. And when you beat your wife sometimes, you're not completely. I think it's okay. Just no, no, no. You don't. Twice a week. Reduce the Terry and wife beating. <laughs> I'll reduce. I'll reduce. But we don't do that, do we? You know. They're different issues, so they can have different. Uh... Yeah, but there's an issue of injustice and unfairness and you know murder and in slavery. So it's kind of tied together in a bit. In your mentality. I suppose the injustice. The injustice to animals <clears throat> doesn't really affect me directly because I don't see it and I'm not friends with these animals. Exactly. Whereas I would be friends with my wife and that would affect me directly. So if I, if I punched her, she wouldn't like me and that would affect my life. Whereas if I eat a chicken, I didn't know that chicken. Yeah. So there's a bit of a distance there. Yeah, but you know, I don't care about every single child on earth either, but I don't want them to be abused and enslaved and killed. You know, I don't have to care about you to not want you to have the same rights as me, or at least the right to life, which I'm asking for fundamental rights for animals, not all these extra things that human beings get. Well, you're not actually asking for the right to life because they wouldn't live if they weren't on a farm. Very good point. I'd, I'd say I'd prefer they didn't be bred into existence by us and enslaved. Yeah, they would, though. 
Not the, not the laugh that we give them. I'd rather it didn't exist. It's horrible what we do. We, we're basically justifying a holocaust. And farmers do this. Well, they wouldn't have life if it wasn't for me. So why could, well, your children wouldn't have life if it wasn't for you. Should we do what we want to them? Like, it's really... really... Well, that's an argument, isn't it? Yeah, do you have the right to beat your own children because you've created them? Yeah. I mean, they used to say, oh, this is my slave. Like, they Some wouldn't... people do think that, actually. They yeah. think if a, if a parent kills their own child, that somehow the parent is a victim. Well, they, they gave them the right to life. Yeah. What would you rather? They didn't they live. Kill the neighbour's child. It's wrong. Yeah. yeah, you know, like these these arguments are easily contradictory. They're contradicting themselves. So, vegans very consistent. It's the most consistent. I'd say I'd say you wouldn't. Uh, uh, you are a moral hypocrite, perhaps, but your sign is needs changing. Okay. But uh, it just depends on where each person draws the line, and you can argue and it's going to be a long process to bring humanity across to your side like it was with slavery 400 years wasn't it in america but slavery still exists now sex slavery and all that child like trafficking it was with gay marriage or women's rights it takes a while yeah because people like same thing with gay marriage like how ridiculous is that how ridiculous that you know we look at women below us and this is the same mentality now animals now it's chickens right and i know it's a long stretch it's pigs it's cows but it's the same mentality. We're better than them. I don't understand them. I don't know them. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. Maybe it will change one day. Starts with you. Starts with me. Okay, I'll eat less. less I didn't tell you to, by the way. I told you to go vegan. Boycott. I'm just not going to go vegan straight away today. Sorry if that upset you, but... But imagine if I told you to reduce and eat less. That would be where you stay. So I'm going to give you the right message. No, it might change over time, depending but, on but how... Not I if I never told you to go vegan, if I just sat here, reduce, reduce, reduce. Well, you didn't tell me to go vegan, and I did yeah. 10, 20 years okay, ago. There you go. So I just thought about it a bit and thought, yeah, I'll try this. Yeah. Sounds less cruel. Yeah. The main argument that got me back was that animals do it, so it's not wrong if we do it. I know you don't agree with that argument. Yeah, animals do a lot of horrific shit to each other. We can't use that as our moral code. People were saying, oh, it's, it's, yeah. Anyway, I need to go to class. Okay. I appreciate that conversation. It was very good. It went on too long. I'm sorry. But do you mind if we post this? I think it's, we, we, we touched on a lot of uh, topics. Yeah. It's, it's going to be good. Uh, because you possess the same thought patterns as 95% of people. So we, we tackled each argument and, you know, I think it was a productive conversation to say the least. Even if you're not going, I'm going vegan. So but the last guy was sort of the same arguments or? No, but you, you, we go through this. Many people possess the same lions though. Uh, they're not like us. They're not intelligent like us. The other guy said similar things, but yep. yeah. So okay. you'd be surprised how many people possess the same Have justifications. Have you anyone who's sort of like a hunter and said, people are dominant and we should be able to kill anyone? Yeah, I had a hunter in Melbourne recently. And uh, yeah, he said, I hunt because they're invasive species and they're hurting the environment. I said, well, you're an invasive species. You're hurting the environment. I wouldn't use that as a reason you to kill you. Is it, is it wrong to kill feral pigs? Yeah, well, this is the thing. Like when you talk about humans uh, sort of impact on the environment, nothing comes close. No one comes close. Feral pigs, deer, they don't come close. We create the disharmony in the environment. We introduce species and then our solution is shoot them. And I don't. I don't want to cull humans because they're destroying the environment, so I don't use that justification to cull invasive species. That, if they're the worst species, isn't it? Wouldn't it be better to kill all humans and let animals just? Humans create a lot of well-being as well, so you have to measure the well-being we create and the suffering that we alleviate, and the sentience of all these people. So I don't want to be See, a I'm, hypocrite. I'm, I'm pro culling wild cats and pigs because they kill hundreds of millions of birds and possums and stuff. Would you be more pro, uh, say, an ethical way of desexing them, like shooting tranquilizers? Sure. Yeah, so, so this is what I mean, an ethical solution to the problem instead of shoot them. It's always shoot them. But where are they going to go? You've got 10 million cats. Where are you going to put them all? I'm, I'm talking about a desexing program that doesn't involve murdering them all. Okay, so right. over time. We can talk about ethical solutions that don't involve killing because we talk about that for the humans. We don't go, oh, kill them. Sometimes we do. It's called war. And, and it's called horrible. It's called a war if, yeah. if they're doing something wrong. Yeah. Or uh, if they're a terrorist, we shoot them. We don't. Yeah. Well, it depends. Animals aren't terrorists, are they? <coughs> they don't have that type of, you know, they're not terrorizing us and blowing up our buildings and trying to. Not very many of them, no. Yeah. We, are the, we are the evil ones. Human I beings. I, as see as evil. I study science and I'm, 
the, the achievements that human have got, like creating these things? I mean, humans as a race, we do many great things, but we do a lot more evil things than animals can even conceptualise. You, you can't group all humans together? No. Someone, you can't group all animals together either? No. All right. All right. Well, it's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too, brother. You're not, you're not a fanatic like I thought you might be. <laughs> It was a good discussion, mate. Appreciate it. Find this, this place. Awesome, bro. Take care. So that was an interesting discussion. Um, he went really around the world with all the different uh, justifications there, but I, had, I really enjoyed that chat, and I uh, hope he thinks this through a little bit more and makes the right decision.